Welcome to another edition of NYCFC Meets. I'm Ian Joy. Let's start the meeting and see if our next guest is ready. Ronnie Dyler, thank you so much for taking the time out to talk with us today. It's great to have the opportunity to speak with you one-on-one -on -one through such a difficult time. First and foremost, how are you and the family doing right now? I'm doing fine. We are, uh, of course, a lot of inside and and uh, are together all the time, but uh, everybody is healthy, and that's the most important thing. I guess I got to go back to the comments you made. It is a dream come true when you were announced as NYCFC head coach. That's your words. Why was it such a dream come true for you to take this job? I mean, we're happy to have you, but why was it so important to you that you came to New York? There's a lot of things, you know. It's uh, of course uh, this city is unbelievable, and uh, also the club is is fantastic. It's, uh, I've been following it for, for a long time because I always uh, had a good relationship uh, with Manchester City, and um, and uh, the opportunity to experience these things and also have a team that uh, is capable to to win something. It's uh, that's uh, what you call a dream come true. Let's go back to preseason. You get your time with the kids, and obviously they're excited. The players are all back. They're ready to rock and roll. Uh, you start the season. How did you feel when the games finally got started? That season got underway. You got two very big wins under your belt, and then, of course, the early red card in the first regular season game. But it looked like you were happy to get the games going finally. Yeah, that's why, why we're training. You know, we, we love to play games, and... And the Champions League has, uh, as well has been a uh, great, uh, great experience. And um, it's still not finished. It's still an opportunity there. So, um, but, um, you know, you, you can never imagine these things coming up like, uh, like what we have in the world today. It's, uh, it's very, very sad. But uh, at the same time, it's, it's good that we take it, take it seriously because of this affects um, everybody. Of course, it is an unfortunate incident that's come up. I mean, I don't think anybody could have imagined something like this could have happened, especially with a suspension to a Major League Soccer season and all sports around the world coming to a stop. You as a head coach, and of course, you're in charge of a lot of young men. You're in charge of a team, a group of head coaches and the staff around you. How do you deal with something like that? I mean, you, I guess, are the, the sign of positivity for everybody else who is looking for an answer. Uh, no, it's uh, it's not easy. I think uh, there's a lot of questions for for everybody. But uh, the most important is uh, you know to be supportive and uh, be there for for everybody, um, and that we all are there for each other. That we take care of each other. It's a lot of players that is alone uh, at home. So of course, and and moved away from their families. Um, so have a um, opportunity to speak a lot uh, with each other and. Um, and that the groups see each other as much as possible is important. And also that the club and us giving as much as information as possible about what's happening and, and uh, what's going going to happen. So it's, um, I think the, the, the players and the staff is like the rest of the people uh, around New York. It's like uh, boring, of course, and, um, and feel it really on, the, on, on their body. So... So it's, it's about, uh, you know, giving as much answer as possible and at the same time also uh, care about each other. That's uh, that's the main thing. You've gone through preseason. The guys are reaching peak fitness. Now they've had to stop. The suspension takes place. What instruction are you giving to the players right now when they're at home? They're stuck in isolation. They're not really allowed to be around anybody else. So what can they do and what is your instruction to them right now to stay fit? First of all, we have a, a great uh, staff and, and the people around the club, doctors, uh, medical help, um, and also leadership in the club. That has been fantastic. So it's like uh, always getting information about what what's happening uh, and what's going to be important about, you know, keep yourself away from the disease and not give it to, to anybody else. That's been, been really, really good. Um, and then we have to follow the rules. Uh, and, and that's for everybody. And um, the players can, of course, go out and be alone, or maybe two, two players when they have good distance to, to run. And then um, they get their program programs there to to 
you know, go out, uh, do some interval training, uh, try to find a, a surface that is soft, soft, you know, get, get out of the, uh, the, the city and uh, the hard uh, surface. Um, and then also we, we have um, um, Zoom uh, meeting each other there mm -hmm. twice a week. And maybe we're going to do more as well that we have, uh, we have some yoga, uh, some, uh, some uh, aerobic body, body fitness. And um, then we're going to also have our kickboxing class uh, tomorrow that everybody is joining. So we try to there to, to so we can see each other than we, uh, you know, in the, on the computer. Like we are doing now. I think it's pretty impressive how a lot of teams around the world are using technology now to keep themselves fit and also be in contact with one another. Like you said, it's a great platform to be able to use and, and like we're using with Cisco right now. It's awesome. Um, of course, do you believe that you will have some time to build up before you have to kick a ball a game in, in, a, in a match? Do you think you'll have like a, an advanced period of time for training to maybe sort of build that fitness back up again before you get to start a game? I think first of all, the players have done a fantastic job so far. Yeah, you know they are professional and they they, they do everything they can. A lot of players as the treadmills uh, buy treadmills to have inside bicycle. You know they do everything they can to, to keep up the fitness. And then number two is you know football is one thing, but uh, it's so many people struggling now in uh, in New York in with different in different ways, disease and jobs and everything, and you know it's. The most important thing that not that the people, are, the players, and everybody are feeling safe and feeling good, and, uh, and and when it's safe to play, of course we 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 want to get out on the pitch again. But uh, that's the most important thing is about um, uh, the health for everybody. Um, and I'm sure then that it's not like going to be a quick fix like uh, that. Um, uh, it's over tomorrow, and then we're going to play the next day. It's going to be going in uh, in different stages so our first i think will be like maybe five and five can train together and then the whole team can train together and then it's going to be a long period before maybe also we have to play games without uh, people in the stands i don't know you know and, and then in the end the last thing is you know getting a lot of people in, uh, inside the stadium so i think things are going to take time and we will get a lot of time to to train and, uh, and make ourselves ready again to to start the season I'm just thinking about your time coming over to New York. You sign your contract, you go straight into preseason, you're immediately traveling, you then come back to New York. We still really haven't had a home opener at Yankee Stadium yet, and yet you're going through this now. I mean, that's a difficult thing. Have you even had a chance to experience the city a little bit, go and test out New York? Have you been to a few restaurants? Have you done any of that before this was all shut down? Yes, I've done that. You know, so I've been uh, been staying at hotel to the middle of March. So of course, then you go out to eat uh, eat a lot. So I've been uh, been going around and uh, tried a lot of restaurants. And I I don't think I have a bad meal yet. So that's uh, that's uh, it's a quality city when it is about uh, food and and uh, and restaurants. That's been really really good. So I've I've seen something, but uh, of course, it's strange to haven't played a home game yet. That's, that's very strange. And. Uh, been a lot of traveling. Uh, the positive thing is that I got my family over and um, we are now getting to apartment and uh, you have a good time to get that ready. So so we have to, you know, use this time in the best way you can do. And for me, it's been very important to, to get the family settled and, um, and um, get to know everything, uh, uh, to get everything right in the apartment and then also use the time to uh, to to learn something, you know, and uh, for me, it's been uh, good to have seen ninety percent of everything happened last season with the team. Yeah, and uh, it's been really really good for me to to get to know the team and the players even more. And this time you don't have when you just go straight into a job. So I'm gonna use that time good and also try to to learn something to develop yourself. And uh, it's a time for reflection as well when you when you sitting home a lot so um so i try to use the time the, um, the bad time in a good way i couldn't have said it any better myself ronnie i think a lot of people should take that advice 
It's a difficult situation. It's a difficult time, but trying to turn it into a positive for yourself where you can reflect. I mean, you would never have got this time to get your family together, to be able to spend that quality time with one another, to get settled. And now you are, when the ball finally does get rolling, you're ready to go. I mean, how excited are you to get to Yankee Stadium and, and have the stadium packed ready for you? I mean, that must be something special for you. Um, it's uh, it's going to be, as I say, a little bit like a dream as well, you know. Yankee Stadium is, is a special stadium and to get in there is, uh, is going to be, be fantastic. And, um, and I know the team also feeling that. So, um, uh, no, it's, uh, it's a lot to look forward to. Um, at the same time, um, it's been a tough period, of course, for, for everybody. It's a tough period. There's a lot of New Yorkers who are going through some difficult times at this moment. But you, my friend, are someone that everybody wants to hear from. They want to know what you got to say. So having this opportunity to speak to you is quite awesome. Do you have a message for your supporters who are at home going through this period? I just uh, it's important that uh, you know we are we are a team, not only the eleven out on the pitch. That's the staff, the whole club, and all the supporters and all the people in in New York. We we have to be a really really good team uh, now together. It's about supporting each other, helping each other, um, reaching out to each other when we have opportunities. Uh, and we are there. You have to know that everybody. Um, and uh, I am thinking of everybody all the time. You know that um, hopefully we can get through this time as as quick as possible. Um, and. Uh, that everybody stay healthy. Um, and then in the end of the little bit long town tunnel, it's, um, it's lighter and uh, then it's going to be played football again. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to see the, the fans and meet them in, uh, in Yankee Stadium and um, start winning games again because uh, also that has been a little bit hard now that we, we should have get something out of the game, especially against the uh, Tigres. But, um, but uh, as I said, it's not over. And the season going to be is long, and um, and I'm uh, working with my fitness now, so we can uh, hopefully, hopefully win something. I can get some stripping after the season. <laughs> well, we look forward to it, Ronnie. Thank you so much for the time. It's great to have the opportunity to speak to you, and of course, I for one, and I speak for the whole of New Yorkers out there. We can't wait to see you at Yankee Stadium. We look forward to it. Thank you. You too.